आर माधवन कंग्रेचुलेशन फैंटेस्टिक मोमेंट चंद्रयान ऑन द मून विकास इंजन पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड रॉकेटरी गेट्स द नेशनल अवार्ड या वी आर ओवर द मून इन ऑल सेंस ऑफ द वर्ड चंद्रयान मिशन एंड आई वॉज लिटरली ग्लीफुल um i was so happy for the achievement it is no meager achievement those who understand science and the uh, and the importance of space travel in the near future know what a spectacular achievement this is and what it means to the common man as well and i celebrated and then the news came yesterday of the national award and i figured i might have celebrated a little too much because i didn't have anything left to give this is a very sobering moment for me but the only euphoria that the entire team felt is when we called nambi narayan sir on the phone and gave him the news and there was a uh, family was celebrating they were all coming and telling him the news at the same time it was very very rewarding for us to see that household with that much of glee mirth and happiness and that has been our biggest reward you know i i spoke with him ahead of the chandrayaan uh, launch itself and he was saying there is so much more that we can do beyond the vikas engine and he was already looking ahead to the next steps uh but you know in terms of an achievement shouldn't we all feel proud that in inside of 650 crores we have actually landed a vehicle a lunar module on the moon you know this, uh, doesn't this talk about what we if we as a nation can achieve do you you think many people have been able to understand grasp the weight of this achievement no i am afraid uh, they have not uh let me try and put it in perspective russia and china have done the same mission and almost failed nobody's actually landed on the south pole like india has done with such grace and the cost of their missions were upwards of 1600 crores we managed to do it in less than 650 crores you know the the fallout of technology i let us say not the fallout but the the technology associated with such a project and mission is so very useful because it's now been verified it's been proved to be successful and that can be indigenously uh, made and in, implemented throughout the nation for the common consumer you know it it's it's a great leap forward for medical science for for technologies to help the common man and you know th- when that percolates you will realize for example gps we don't might not have to depend on google anymore we will have uh, visuals that are so clear about our own very streets and gullies that is possible right now because of missions like this and imagine that if you were getting an iphone i'm not let's say any phone uh, for 1000 uh, rupees and india is able to give you the same phone at 350 rupees do you see the advantage in that that's exactly the 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 uh, strange but very wide correlation between the success of the price that uh, isro has managed to achieve this mission in compared to what the other countries have spent one one more uh, is a big thumbs up to the middle class because a lot of time nobody speaks about it most of the scientists are are from middle class humble backgrounds you see the the contribution of the middle class towards india's growth story that's another part which not too many people talk about i think the indian middle class is the most powerful in the world the whole world is trying to woo them from from the ott channels to the um uh, to the products and uh, to consumers all of them you know we are the most powerful we not only are consuming them we also have very uh, clear opinions and very clear patterns which we follow and it's a great study um uh, what 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 a film like rocketry does or a mission like mission uh, you know like mangalyan does is that it evokes interest among the youngsters in the middle class to clearly be part of a movement like this you know and uh, you know and make space technology or research or is so as important as a uh, an establishment as iit or iim for for them to be part of and and that is what i'm keenly looking forward to because i can promise you anand that in the very near future much 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 faster than we envisage um space is going to become a reality and uh, the dominance over space and the technology that is going to be involved for a direct correlation to the uh, to, uh, to to men living on earth uh, and i'm saying this is a, this is an achievement for the whole world not just india and the, and the direct correlation of the technologies that this is uh, going to um, uh, have and the impact on the common man it's going to be really um, uh, spectacular and to be the first one the four runners in that it's going to be extraordinary
Oh, I know there was no race to make rocketry, but there's going to be a race to make the story of Chandrayaan. So I need to ask, is uh, Madhavat the filmmaker, the writer in that race too? Or do you have a better story closer home with your son doing what he's doing in the pool? <laughs> um, thank you very much. Uh, we're under a long way to go. Uh, we're all keeping our fingers crossed. Uh, no, there is no race for me. Uh, you know, this uh, rocketry as a film was thrust upon me as a director. I wrote it. I wanted to produce it uh, and I acted in it, but I didn't want to direct it. I didn't have the ability at that point in time is what I thought. But now that it's done and it's got the highest award, I'm even more frightened that I might be called off and called out as a bad director if I do something which I don't have my heart in. So I'm going to wait for that calling. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be Chandrayaan or any other thing, but I know that when I get the calling, uh, I will put my heart and soul into it. This is a great, uh, this is not just a great award and recognition, but it's a huge responsibility, Anand. And one wants to, uh, you know, one wants to make sure that one lives up to the expectations of uh, uh, such a such a respect and honor that's been bestowed. My, my final question, you know, uh, which side of the political spectrum you are, the celebration has been colored with that. Do you, do you feel that's a fortunate, unfortunate? Where people had an issue with Prime Minister being there when Chandrayaan touched down on the screen. Uh, many would have perhaps even called you out for congratulating PM Modi and ISRO together. Saying give the credit only to Israel, don't give it to the PM or to the current government. Where do you stand when all this happens? I know you steer clear of politics, but I just thought I should ask you this. I am, uh, I be, I'm, I'm in love with India, and I'm also in love with the fact that India is doing great right now, and I'm, I have the deepest and utmost respect for my Prime Minister, and I can tell you this: that the Prime Minister of India today will, with me, clap for the next Prime Minister. Whoever is doing good for India, it's the post and the and the position that we are applauding. It is not politically aligned. It's a big crime not to uh, acknowledge good work and and pat on the back and acknowledge the progress that the country is making because that's almost uh, being unfair with the country. So, for the few misguided people who have opinions that like everybody does over the world, you cannot do anything right. There is not, you know, you'll see a small child smile and they will find a reason why the child should not smile. So we have to, we have to make allowances for these poor souls and keep moving ahead. But that does not mean that we do not actually look inside and, and give credit where there is due. And, and for goodness sake, you have to give credit. It has happened. What are you going to do? It's happened during this government's time. You know the government has already supported you. The Prime Minister has been a big fan. He has been there for the, uh, equally there for the failure of Chandrayaan 2 as much as he's been there for the success of Chandrayaan 2. You never said he should not have gone there then. I'm just saying, guys, look deep inside. This is a country that's making progress. There are many external uh, elements that are not happy with the kind of progress that we do. And the best way to break a country is, and I, and, and I honestly believe this, is, is, to give them, is to give the younger generation fast food that really screws with their stomach and their mind, which I know, uh, you know has not worked for many Western countries. And the other thing is to feed the seed of dissent for everything possible. Look you know, everybody who's making a mockery of this, you just look around and say, this is the place where your children are going to grow up. This is the country that the entire world is standing up and applauding. What are you doing in praising the people involved with it? It's just to say that, oh, only praise is so, do not praise the prime minister. Who is? Everybody is just saying Chandrayaan did a great job. And again, coming back, when it failed, he was there to take responsibility. Why don't you all acknowledge that? And uh, I'm not going to be dissuaded by people in, in, uh, in uh, you know, projecting and applauding what is right by my country. If that is going to be, uh, you know, painted in whichever color they feel is convenient to them, I cannot be dissuaded by that. He is my prime minister. This is the government that is ruling and they are doing a great job so far. And if there is something wrong that they're doing, I'm telling you, the government will have to take responsibility. They will. And I know the bunch of people that I've met that tomorrow, God forbid, if they are not in the in the government also, they will be applauding uh, with any gentleman uh, or lady who becomes a prime minister and is doing night for the country. I'm speaking for them. I can say it. Everybody is nationalistic and it is important to do that. And if you don't know what that means, go to Japan or at least read what they do. And we are a great country. We have wonderful, uh, talented people who need to be uh, nourished and protected, including the ISRO scientists. Okay. So unless you give them this acknowledgement, unless you know there is somebody out there you can reach out to say, hey, sir, you said this. Now, can we do something about protecting them? 
how are you going to protect them and treat them as national assets? I'm sorry I was a little, uh, you know, uh, long with my answer, but I truly believe this. And, and I'm telling you, uh, I, I, I don't think that anybody uh, should have any problem with what I just said, simply because I really am only talking about my India. Dil se bola, sahi bola, varga, varga nanba, varga. Fantastic. Thank May you. your tribe grow. May your tribe grow. <laughs> Lovely speaking with you, buddy. Always a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so much for making the time amidst what's your personal time for, for speaking with us. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anand, for your kind uh, hearing and very sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, buddy. Thank you. Thanks. All the best. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Anand. Bye-bye, man. Bye. -bye, man. Bye.